What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know what it is. It's your boy, the Moose, Moose Squad. Alright, so um, we did the unboxing. Let's get these projectors set up. I didn't do it side by side, but as you can see in the video, uh, let's go ahead and break down the two differences between the two projectors, and I'll get back with you at the end of the video. Alright, so let's get this built. Okay, so nice. Oh yeah, I like this already. So how they make it, I'll show you how I did it in a second, so you can get an idea. But this is an 80 inch, like an 80 inch screen. So about what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do two tests. I'm actually gonna bring the old projector out and see what it looks like on the screen. And then I'm gonna put the new projector on the screen and we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so this is actually the CUDA. CUDA? So let's check out the Kuvita. So this is the Kuvita. This is the presentation from the Kuvita. And as you can see, I'm actually pushing the remote for the agenda. See how blurry it is? There's no way that I can get that fixed um, through this. Uh, you could see it, but you can't see it. And I like the screen. The screen is really good. It's an 80-inch screen. So you could see this pretty much. It's professional looking and everything else. Um, I'm that far away from the screen. I would say about maybe 10 feet. I'm 10 feet from the screen. But that's what you get with this one. You barely could read it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other one. And then we'll go from there. In order for me to switch, I have to use this adapter which is a HDMI adapter, and it goes to this. Now, I am going to pick up an adapter that I have to plug in. Um, I like those a little better, but here we're going, to, we're going to plug this in real quick, and while I'm plugging this in, and then getting it ready to go onto the projector, um, I'll see you in a second. So here is the other one. It's plugged into the computer, and... Ah, uh, he's going back to sleep. So then, as you can see here, let me get you closer so you can see a little bit better. Um, as you can see here, um, it, the, the images are clearer. And if we can go ahead and zoom you in on this video. And look at that. You can actually read the name. Now I'm going to get into the fine print. Because there's a fine print coming up. Uh, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the one with the fine print on it. Uh, and then this one right here is an area of focus. 
Let me flip that on the screen for you. And then right here is pretty much how to get there. And then summary, check that out. You can actually read that um, clearly through the, the thing. And then it says thank you. Um, so also, I want you to focus on that little word up there. See the presentation title? You can read that clearly too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else real quick. To prove it, that this is a better clear scene. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something. And I want you to see this. Um, let's see. I'm um, trying to figure out what has one that doesn't have anything on it. Oh, this, I don't think this has any, uh, uh, this doesn't have anybody's name on it. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, a typical, um, typical bridal contract and as you can see this is a wedding songs and I'm using the remote too so you can use the remote to do uh, everything pretty much uh, you see the remote I'm using this remote so uh, it's basically this gives you the bridal party entrance songs uh, the bridal party name of uh, proper introductions uh, it gives you the bridesmaids and everything else how the bride and groom want to be introduced and then it gives you basics of the first dance, uh, mother, uh, the, okay, so the first, uh, hold on. Hold on. I want you to see that. So basically you could see everything in the contract. You could read it, uh, they're pretty good. Uh, songs not to play, songs that must play, typical music dinner, and music genres we don't like, and that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you this because I wanted to give you an idea on how really clear this is. Um, one more thing. Okay, so this basically would be a resume. I'm just using it as an example on how clear the screen really is. And as you can see, uh, you could read everything on the screen. Let me pull you back a little bit so you can see more of the screen. Okay, so now you can see more of the screen. Um, as you, but you could still get the idea. And as you could see, um, you could pretty much read everything that's on the screen. And school name, projects, details, your name, no reply. So basically, this is basically the, the I would suggest getting this one. I, I, I really like this. I'm gonna actually do a decal on it and see the differences between the decal when I do one. I have a bunch of them that I do. And, oh, I forgot to show you. And check this out. I also noticed that when I was at the gig, you point this at the TV and you can't even see it. But look at me pointing this thing at the screen. See, the screen is white and black. It's got a black face to it. So when you're purchasing the screen, you're gonna wanna get one that has a black back to it. You don't wanna get a clear screen that you can see through the back. And a lot of the screens that you get are that way. So, let me take you to the back of the screen. Okay, so the first projector that I put up is the Cool, and it's okay. Um, I, I like the, the screen though. The screen is a lot more clearer than the other screen. As you can see, there's a difference between the two screens. So, um, when I put these projectors up and... I was impressed because one, I can zoom in a lot better with the other projector 
The other one only had one zoom, and this one has two zoom buttons. It has the, the zoom button and the, the zoom button where I can pull it in and pull it out, and then I can actually uh, make the thing fit the screen, and I can use a remote control to do it too. So I hope you all have it. The second one is Epson, um, and I put the link below uh, of the it's, it's Epson Powerlite 85, I think it is. Yes, yeah, Epson Powerlite 85. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring that bell for more notifications for videos like this and kind of others. Smash that beautiful like button and deuces. It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. It'll be party all day long. It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. What are you waiting for?